it's Midnight Persona here, and happy Friday the 13th. Uh, I thought today I would do somewhat of a special video uh, talking about superstitions. Since Friday the 13th is known all about superstitions, I thought it'd be interesting to look up some interesting or weird superstitions that other people have that we might even not know exist that people think about. So, to start off the video, uh, I figured maybe I'll tell you the definition of superstition. I know most people already know what a superstition is, but there are those few people who might not actually 100% understand it. So, superstition, a widely held but unjustified belief in supernatural causation leading to a certain consequence of an action or event, or, based, or a practice based on such belief. So, superstition is basically something that people fear that cause something supernatural to happen even though there's no evidence behind it. Okay, so I found a list of 55 strange superstitions from around the world, but I will probably only be reading a few of them, maybe 13 of them, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but there's some really interesting ones that are like, really? That's not what I would have expected. You know, so to start us off, there is never say happy birthday too early. Celebrating or even congratulating someone on their birthday before the day arrives brings bad luck, at least in Russia. So that's interesting that you can't say happy birthday to people before their birthday. Don't place two mirrors opposite each other. The infinite reflections may look cool, but in Mexico and elsewhere, facing mirrors open a doorway to the devil. Mirrors are evil. I've already known this most of my life, but it's good to see other people believe it and have confirmed that mirrors are evil or from the devil. Never stick your chopsticks straight up. Poking chopsticks down in your food is a big no-no in Japan. The utensils look like the unlucky number four, which means death, which also the would and also the incense sticks used at funerals. Another tip, don't point your chopsticks at anyone, that's just plain rude. So don't stick your chopsticks in your food straight up. It, it will, it'll mean death. Give a penny if you've received something sharp. Gifting anything with a blade can supposedly sever a relationship. So if you receive a knife set or a pair of scissors as a present, give the person a coin in return. That's a really, like, why a coin? I feel like I want to look up that more, but there's no, like, where it's, what country it's from. Um, I'll post the website that I'm reading this on in the description below anyway because I thought these were really fascinating and since there's 50 of them, you guys can go look at the rest of them. Don't go home right after a funeral. A Filipino tradition called pa Pag Pag di dictate that people never go straight back to the house after wake. Otherwise, a bad spirit might tag along and come inside. Mourners will stop at a restaurant or a store first, just in case. Uh, I've always kind of... I've always noticed that people just go to restaurants or whatever after a funeral anyway. I've never been to a funeral, so I can't really say, but from what I've noticed with my friends and other people, they tend to go to a restaurant or something afterwards. I think that's just common, but I don't. I didn't know it was a superstition kind of thing. Whistling indoors invites evil. Whistling while you work may be an issue in Lithuania, where it's forbidden to whistle indoors because the noise is believed to summon demons. Whistling is also evil, which means, well, technically the dwarves, the seven dwarves work outside, so that's not as evil. Don't cheer with water. A, Germ a German superstition declares that if you cheers with water, you're actually wishing death upon the people you're drinking with. The idea stems from Greek mythology. I didn't know you could wish death on people with water, but that's good to know. Avoid sleeping with your head north. According to Japanese superstition, sleeping with your head in this direction is bad luck because it's how the deceased are laid to rest. I can understand that one. That one just seems kind of more creepy to think of the fact of the dead lay this way. I lay this way. Yep. And avoid sleeping with your head to the west. Controversially, the same superstition exists in Africa if you sleep with your head to the west. Keep your shoes off the table. 
In Britain, it's considered bad luck because it's supposedly it's supposed to symbolize the death of a loved one. Back in the day, placing someone's shoes on a table was a way to let their family know that they passed away. Nowadays, it's also just bad etiquette. Etiquette. I mean, I don't understand why your shoes would be on the table in the first place, but it's interesting that they used to use that to tell people their loved ones died. I feel like that's something that, like, we need something like that uh, nowadays, because it does get really difficult to tell people something like that in, in person. Like, maybe we can, like, put a sticker on the face to be like, Don't worry, be happy, by the way, your brother's dead, sorry. Itchy hands have financial repercussions. In Turkey, an itchy right hand means you'll come into some money, but an itch on your left means you'll lose money. I've heard this one actually, uh, not even superstition wise, but I, it used to be a thing where when I would scratch my hands, my mom would be like, hey, that means you're getting money soon. But we're not Turkish, nor are we from Turkey, so I don't know how we even thought about that. And I don't know where she learned it, but I know there's something my mom used to tell me all the time, you know? Don't play with scissors. Crafter beware. Idly playing with scissors will bring bad luck according to Egyptian lore, plus it's just plain dangerous. And that was don't run with scissors, which is also very... Don't do that, you know, that's a bad thing. Stepping in dog poop isn't necessarily bad. This one seems unlucky all around, but just go with it. Stepping in dog poop is actually considered good luck in France. If you do it with your left foot, if you do it with your left foot, it's only bad luck if you do it with your right. I don't see that being a thing that anybody enjoys, but hey, I mean, it, I guess it's, some of these are probably not even superstitions that exist as much as they used to back in the day, but it's really interesting to read about different superstitions, because there's always the common, uh, don't walk under a ladder, uh, black cats, which I hate that one because black cats are so cute, don't break mirrors, it's seven years bad luck, there's uh, don't step on a crack. That's old uh, rhyme and all that stuff. But that's 13 from that website that are weird that people don't necessarily know about. So I'm going to link the website below so people can check out the other 50. Uh, there's 55 of them, so, so they can check out the rest of them. Um, I, I'm not superstitious myself. I am kind of a if you're negative, negative things happen to you kind of person. You know, I don't know if that's a, a superstitious thing or if that's a karma thing, you know? So I guess, I don't know, I don't really consider myself super, super superstitious. I think that I, uh, there's certain things like how they say, oh, 666 means the devil. I don't necessarily like that row of letters together because every time I've seen it together, bad things have happened. So I'm like, yeah, I can understand that one. Anything involving mirrors I tend to trust because I don't like mirrors. But I'm not super superstitious. Uh, but hey, if you're superstitious, or say there's any traditions or things that you know of that you're, that make you nervous, please post in the comments below. I'd love to hear more about other people's culture and, and the things that they focus on, you know? Because like I said, I'm not super superstitious, so I love hearing other people's little things that they avoid or things that, that get them nervous or whatever. So, please post in the comment below any superstitions that you might have and uh, like the video if you like the video, subscribe to me if you're interested in any more content, let me know if there's anything else you might be interested in, more holiday stuff, you know, more uh, opinions and things like that, just let me know, you know, let, let, let me see what kind of stuff you guys might be interested in and also ring the bell if you want to see more stuff from me, notifications and things like that. So, so, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you also enjoyed my little Friday the 13th look. Uh, I honestly wear makeup like this anyway. I like the darker gothic kind of makeup. I probably am not considered a goth. I don't really, I don't, I don't know what's considered doing gothy things or being a goth, but I myself like just the dark and the black. However, it's I live in Vegas, so that's really hard to do. So instead, I kind of do it inside for some makeup videos or things like that because I really do enjoy the way this looks. So if you really like the look too, feel free to comment below and let me know how you feel about that. But thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I can hit you hit you up. Hopefully I can hit you up <laughs> in the next video. Bye guys.